Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, my alarm is set to go off at 9.15 to get me set up for my opening breakout strategy. I'm going to mark my range at 9.15. Okay, there's my, my cue to set my range. Um, I don't want to make it too big. Let's just go with this for now. And I'll watch it as it develops. We still have um, time. All right, we've got a timer set for 10 minutes. I will check back in on that at 9.25, but so far that's my range. I'm gonna just make a vertical line. at 915 I'm just adjusting this range as we go it stays in the in the my, my vertical line order submitted I'm set my orders now Order submitted. Okay. <clears throat> One minute left. Let's move this guy in. I'm going to tick it up 525 right there. The bottom one I'm going to put here at 68.25. And let's see how it goes. I've got my strategy set here. I'm going for 23 ticks and I am on sim. I'm using three contracts. Order canceled. Right, and it's 9.30, let's see how it goes. I have three contracts. I'm going for 23 ticks. Um, no stop loss. The other order canceled once this uh, short triggered. We need to get down to 60. Let's see. Let's see. Let's fucking move. Let's go. Target filled. Target filled. We made our $300. So I made some changes to this chart. I added an indicator that's going to automatically plot the uh, range that we need starting at 915 um, until the open. You'll see it, you'll see a yellow box um, on the chart if you use it. And then I've also got the IV one and two. Um, still plotted on here. As you see, we went right up to IB1 and then reversed. Um, you can change the indicator settings if you want to use the template. I have a template I'm going to show you where to get. Um, I'm using the Gemify initial balance. Um, you can change the colors, do whatever you like here. Um, what I was doing today, and I don't think I did a good job of explaining this morning when I was taking the trade was, here was the top of the range at 17504. I entered at 17550, just to be a little bit above the round number at five. And then on the downside, I was in at um, 4625. Um, I wanted to be below 50, which was there. Like if, if we were a little bit above, I would look to be a little bit below 50, 
And if we had been like at 98, I would have looked to be a little bit above um, the even, the even or the closest even or around number. Um, and that is because um, NQ likes to come back and test those little levels. So it's quite feasible if we were just here at five, it would have ticked us in and then went down. So just as an extra level, you don't want to be really far. I mean, a couple ticks, you know, not, not too many, just a few ticks above or a few ticks below is where you want to set your entry. Um, I believe, and I'll try this out tomorrow with me having this um, geometrical box here, we could click now buy touch and sell touch and it should enter the positions for us. But the only thing is you want to make sure you have your order offset ticks set and you need to make sure this OCO is closed. I mean, click on the arrow and always make sure your ninja strategy is there. And we want the, um, you wanna set an OBO strategy. You're gonna set your stop loss to 500, your take profit to 23, and your order quantity at three. Uh, one thing I did not address is, we're not gonna let our accounts get busted um, if we're wrong. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't think the Alpine Trader is doing that. What you can do is, and I set this up so that you can see the monetary value um, when you place a trade and when you um, when it's moving, you'll be able to see the value. Um, I recommend, if you're trading on Rhythmic, I recommend that you go into Rhythmic and you set a max loss limit to like $1,200. Um, if you're not in, into Rhythmic, you need to watch this and set a max loss limit to $1,200. If you don't make your seven ticks in $1,200, just cut your loss, live to trade another day, don't bust your accounts. Um, this is only my first day trading this and it was successful. That doesn't mean that it's always going to be successful. Please, you know, make sure you're testing this in sim and you understand, you know, you forward tested it. It works for you. Don't just rush to real money or funded accounts. Um, that would not be very smart. Um, I'm using this chart for the scalps as well. Um, I did take some scalps today. I'm going to talk about them in a little bit, but. I am using the one minute chart to do like one or two scalps. I was um, 384, I took one scalp by accident on this account. So we were 300 off that opening range trade and then I took one scalp and then I took three, three more scalps or four more scalps down here. So all in all, the Alpine Trader, trade. I didn't lose any trades. The Alpine Traders uh, was a hit today. Um, and then I traded, traded some on my funded account, just my regular swing trades on the micros. Um, so it was a good trading day. I hope you had a good day. I'm really excited about this strategy. I'm going to make another video and talk about um, my swing strategy and how I'm using that to take Alpine trades. Um, I'm using this chart, the one minute, like he does, and I'm taking them off of... Um, well, I'm following the trend according to my large brick Renko chart here and I am taking trades off of key areas like right here I would have taken this one for seven ticks I would have taken this one for seven ticks I would look for my I'm going to follow the trend my trend meter should be red I should be below the uh, 20 VMA I've got set on here um, for longs I don't take any longs unless the price closes above, which it didn't here. So no longs here. I would have taken this long for seven ticks. Um, I want a lot of easy opportunities to get in and out. Here is another short opportunity. Here's another short. Here's another short. Um, a couple trades, get your hundred dollars. It's, um, he's swing. I mean, he's taking, uh, where's my OBO? No, no, no. My three Alpine. Here we go. Same same situation. He's using three contracts, 300 stop loss, seven tick profit. Um, it's $100 a trade, essentially. So that's been working. Um, the template is, there's a link to this Google Drive in the video description. You're going to go to home. You're going to folders. You're going to go to the Alpine micro scalp chart. And then in here is a folder that's Alpine orb template and indicators. You must install the indicators first and then install the template and then load it up and you'll be all set up just like mine. Um, and then you can customize it and change it and do whatever else you need to do. All right, guys, this was so much fun. I'm looking forward to doing this next week. I hope 
everybody was green today. I am always happy to end Friday on a green day. I don't like to be red. Have a great weekend and I will see you either in Discord on Monday or in my next video. Bye.